Computer vision is an interdisciplinary scientific field that deals with how computers can gain high-level understanding from digital images or videos. From the perspective of engineering, it seeks to understand and automate tasks that the human visual system can do. Computer vision tasks include methods for acquiring, processing, analyzing and understanding digital images, and extraction of high-dimensional data from the real world in order to produce numerical or symbolic information, e.g. in the forms of decisions. Understanding in this context means the transformation of visual images into descriptions of the world that make sense to thought processes and can elicit appropriate action. This image understanding can be seen as the disentangling of symbolic information from image data using models constructed with the aid of geometry, physics, statistics, and learning theory. The scientific discipline of computer vision is concerned with the theory behind artificial systems that extract information from images. The image data can take many forms, such as video sequences, views from multiple cameras, multidimensional data from a 3D scanner, or medical scanning device. The technological discipline of computer vision seeks to apply its theories and models to the construction of computer vision systems. Subdomains of computer vision include scene reconstruction, object detection, event detection, video tracking, object recognition, 3D pose estimation, learning, indexing, motion estimation, visual servoing, 3D scene modeling, and image restoration. Computer vision is an interdisciplinary field that deals with how computers and can be made to gain high-level understanding from digital images or videos. From the perspective of engineering, it seeks to automate tasks that the human visual system can do. Computer vision is concerned with the automatic extraction, analysis and understanding of useful information from a single image or a sequence of images. It involves the development of a theoretical and algorithmic basis to achieve automatic visual understanding. As a scientific discipline, computer vision is concerned with the theory behind artificial systems that extract information from images. The image data can take many forms, such as video sequences, views from multiple cameras, or multidimensional data from a medical scanner. As a technological discipline, computer vision seeks to apply its theories and models for the construction of computer vision systems. In the late 1960s, computer vision began at universities which were pioneering artificial intelligence. It was meant to mimic the human visual system, as a stepping stone to endowing robots with intelligent behavior. In 1966, it was believed that this could be achieved through a summer project, by attaching a camera to a computer and having it describe what it saw. What distinguished computer vision from the prevalent field of digital image processing at that time was a desire to extract three-dimensional structure from images with the goal of achieving full scene understanding. Studies in the 1970s formed the early foundations for many of the computer vision algorithms that exist today, including extraction of edges from images, labeling of lines, non-polyhedral and polyhedral modeling, representation of objects as interconnections of smaller structures, optical flow, and motion estimation. The next decade saw studies based on more rigorous mathematical analysis and quantitative aspects of computer vision. These include the concept of scale space, the inference of shape from various cues such as shading, texture and focus, and contour models known as snakes. Researchers also realized that many of these mathematical concepts could be treated within the same optimization framework as regularization and Markov random fields. By the 1990s, some of the previous research topics became more active than the others. Research in projective 3D reconstructions led to better understanding of camera calibration. With the advent of optimization methods for camera calibration, it was realized that a lot of the ideas were already explored in bundle adjustment theory from the field of photogrammetry. This led to methods for sparse 3D reconstructions of scenes from multiple images. Progress was made on the dense stereo correspondence problem and further multiview stereo techniques. At the same time, variations of graph cut were used to solve image segmentation. This decade also marked the first time statistical learning techniques were used in practice to recognize faces in images. Toward the end of the 1990s, a significant change came about with the increased interaction between the fields of computer graphics and computer vision. This included image-based rendering, image morphing, view interpolation, panoramic image stitching and early light field rendering. Recent work has seen the resurgence of feature-based methods, used in conjunction with machine learning techniques and complex optimization frameworks. The advancement of deep learning techniques has brought further life to the field of computer vision. 
The accuracy of deep learning algorithms on several benchmark computer vision data sets for tasks ranging from classification, segmentation and optical flow has surpassed prior methods. Object detection in a photograph solid-state physics is another field that is closely related to computer vision. Most computer vision systems rely on image sensors, which detect electromagnetic radiation, which is typically in the form of either visible or infrared light. The sensors are designed using quantum physics. The process by which light interacts with surfaces is explained using physics. Physics explains the behavior of optics which are a core part of most imaging systems. Sophisticated image sensors even require quantum mechanics to provide a complete understanding of the image formation process. Also, various measurement problems in physics can be addressed using computer vision, for example motion in fluids. Neurobiology, specifically the study of the biological vision system. Over the last century, there has been an extensive study of eyes, neurons, and the brain structures devoted to processing of visual stimuli in both humans and various animals. This has led to a coarse, yet complicated, description of how real vision systems operate in order to solve certain vision-related tasks. These results have led to a subfield within computer vision where artificial systems are designed to mimic the processing and behavior of biological systems, at different levels of complexity. Also, some of the learning-based methods developed within computer vision have their background in biology. Some strands of computer vision research are closely related to the study of biological vision, indeed, just as many strands of AI research are closely tied with research into human consciousness. And the use of stored knowledge to interpret, integrate and utilize visual information. The field of biological vision studies and models the physiological processes behind visual perception in humans and other animals. Computer vision, on the other hand, studies and describes the processes implemented in software and hardware behind artificial vision systems. Interdisciplinary exchange between biological and computer vision has proven fruitful for both fields. Yet another field related to computer vision is signal processing. Many methods for processing of one variable signals, typically temporal signals, can be extended in a natural way to processing of two variable signals or multivariable signals in computer vision. However, because of the specific nature of images there are many methods developed within computer vision that have no counterpart in processing of one variable signals. Together with the multidimensionality of the signal, this defines a subfield in signal processing as a part of computer vision. Robot navigation sometimes deals with autonomous path planning or deliberation for robotic systems to navigate through an environment. A detailed understanding of these environments is required to navigate through them. Information about the environment could be provided by a computer vision system, acting as a vision sensor and providing high-level information about the environment and the robot. Beside the above-mentioned views on computer vision, many of the related research topics can also be studied from a purely mathematical point of view. For example, many methods in computer vision are based on statistics, optimization or geometry. Finally, a significant part of the field is devoted to the implementation aspect of computer vision, how existing methods can be realized in various combinations of software and hardware or how these methods can be modified in order to gain processing speed without losing too much performance. Computer vision is also used in fashion e-commerce, inventory management, patent search, furniture, and the beauty industry. The fields most closely related to computer vision are image processing, image analysis, and machine vision. There is a significant overlap in the range of techniques and applications that these cover. This implies that the basic techniques that are used and developed in these fields are similar, something which can be interpreted as there is only one field with different names. On the other hand, it appears to be necessary for research groups, scientific journals, conferences and companies to present or market themselves as belonging specifically to one of these fields and hence, various characterizations which distinguish each of the fields from the others have been presented. In image processing, the input is an image and the output is an image as well, whereas in computer vision, an image or a video is taken as an input, and the output could be an enhanced image. An understanding of the content of an image or even a behavior of a computer system based on such understanding. Computer graphics produces image data from 3D models. Computer vision often produces 3D models from image data. There is also a trend towards a combination of the two disciplines, e. g. as explored in augmented reality. The following characterizations appear relevant but should not be taken as universally accepted. Photogrammetry also overlaps with computer vision. 
G. Stereophotogrammetry versus Computer Stereo Vision. Applications range from tasks such as industrial machine vision systems which, say, inspect bottles speeding by on a production line, to research into artificial intelligence and computers or robots that can comprehend the world around them. The computer vision and machine vision fields have significant overlap. Computer vision covers the core technology of automated image analysis which is used in many fields. Machine vision usually refers to a process of combining automated image analysis with other methods and technologies to provide automated inspection and robot guidance in industrial applications. In many computer vision applications, the computers are pre-programmed to solve a particular task, but methods based on learning are now becoming increasingly common. Examples of applications of computer vision include systems for learning 3D shapes has been a challenging task in computer vision. Recent advances in deep learning has enabled researchers to build models that are able to generate and reconstruct 3D shapes from single or multi-view depth maps or silhouettes. Seamlessly and efficiently play media DARPA's visual media reasoning concept video One of the most prominent application fields is medical computer vision. Or medical image processing, characterized by the extraction of information from image data to diagnose a patient. An example of this is detection of tumors, arteriosclerosis or other malign changes, measurements of organ dimensions, blood flow, etc. Are another example. It also supports medical research by providing new information. G. About the structure of the brain, or about the quality of medical treatments. Applications of computer vision in the medical area also includes enhancement of images interpreted by humans, ultrasonic images or x-ray images for example, to reduce the influence of noise. A second application area in computer vision is in industry, sometimes called machine vision, where information is extracted for the purpose of supporting a production process. One example is quality control where details or final products are being automatically inspected in order to find defects. Another example is measurement of position and orientation of details to be picked up by a robot arm. Machine vision is also heavily used in agricultural process to remove undesirable food stuff from bulk material, a process called optical sorting. Military applications are probably one of the largest areas for computer vision. The obvious examples are detection of enemy soldiers or vehicles and missile guidance. More advanced systems for missile guidance send the missile to an area rather than a specific target, and target selection is made when the missile reaches the area based on locally acquired image data. Modern military concepts, such as battlefield awareness, imply that various sensors, including image sensors, provide a rich set of information about a combat scene which can be used to support strategic decisions. In this case, automatic processing of the data is used to reduce complexity and diffuse information from multiple sensors to increase reliability. Artist's concept of curiosity, an example of an uncrewed land-based vehicle. Notice the stereo camera mounted on top of the rover. One of the newer application areas is autonomous vehicles, which include submersibles, land-based vehicles, aerial vehicles, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The level of autonomy ranges from fully autonomous vehicles to vehicles where computer vision-based systems support a driver or a pilot in various situations. Fully autonomous vehicles typically use computer vision for navigation, g. for knowing where it is, or for producing a map of its environment and for detecting obstacles. It can also be used for detecting certain task-specific events, e. g. A UAV looking for forest fires. Examples of supporting systems are obstacle warning systems in cars and systems for autonomous landing of aircraft. Several car manufacturers have demonstrated systems for autonomous driving of cars, but this technology has still not reached the level where it can be put on the market. There are ample examples of military autonomous vehicles ranging from advanced missiles to WAVs for recon missions or missile guidance. Space exploration is already being made with autonomous vehicles using computer vision, e. g. NASA's Curiosity and CNSA's U-22 rover. Rubber artificial skin layer with flexible structure for shape estimation of micro-undulation surfaces above is a silicon mold with a camera inside containing many different point markers. When this sensor is pressed against the surface the silicon deforms and the position of the point markers shift. A computer can then take this data and determine how exactly the mold is pressed against the surface. This can be used to calibrate robotic hands in order to make sure they can grasp objects effectively. 
Materials such as rubber and silicon are being used to create sensors that allow for applications such as detecting microundulations and calibrating robotic hands. Rubber can be used in order to create a mold that can be placed over a finger. Inside of this mold would be multiple strain gauges. The finger mold and sensors could then be placed on top of a small sheet of rubber containing an array of rubber pins. A user can then wear the finger mold and trace a surface. A computer can then read the data from the strain gauges and measure if one or more of the pins is being pushed upward. If a pin is being pushed upward then the computer can recognize this as an imperfection in the surface. This sort of technology is useful in order to receive accurate data of the imperfections on a very large surface. Another variation of this finger mold sensor are sensors that contain a camera suspended in silicon. The silicon forms a dome around the outside of the camera and embedded in the silicon are point markers that are equally spaced. These cameras can then be placed on devices such as robotic hands in order to allow the computer to receive highly accurate tactile data. Other application areas include, each of the application areas described above employ a range of computer vision tasks, more or less well-defined measurement problems or processing problems, which can be solved using a variety of methods. Some examples of typical computer vision tasks are presented below. Computer vision tasks include methods for acquiring, processing, analyzing and understanding digital images, and extraction of high-dimensional data from the real world in order to produce numerical or symbolic information, e.g. in the forms of decisions. Understanding in this context means the transformation of visual images into descriptions of the world that can interface with other thought processes and elicit appropriate action. This image understanding can be seen as the disentangling of symbolic information from image data using models constructed with the aid of geometry, physics, statistics, and learning theory. The classical problem in computer vision, image processing, and machine vision is that of determining whether or not the image data contains some specific object, feature, or activity. Different varieties of the recognition problem are described in the literature. Currently, the best algorithms for such tasks are based on convolutional neural networks. An illustration of their capabilities is given by the ImageNet Large-Scale Visual Recognition Challenge. This is a benchmark in object classification and detection, with millions of images and 1,000 object classes used in the competition. Performance of convolutional neural networks on the ImageNet tests is now close to that of humans. The best algorithms still struggle with objects that are small or thin, such as a small ant on a stem of a flower or a person holding a quill in their hand. They also have trouble with images that have been distorted with filters. By contrast, those kinds of images rarely trouble humans. Humans, however, tend to have trouble with other issues. For example, they are not good at classifying objects into fine-grained classes, such as the particular breed of dog or species of bird, whereas convolutional neural networks handle this with ease. Several specialized tasks based on recognition exist, such as, computer vision for people counter purposes in public places, malls, shopping center several tasks. Relate to motion estimation where an image sequence is processed to produce an estimate of a velocity either at each points in the image or in the 3D scene. Or even of the camera that produces the images. Examples of such tasks are, Given one or more images of a scene, or a video, scene reconstruction aims at computing a 3D model of the scene. In the simplest case the model can be a set of 3D points. More sophisticated methods produce a complete 3D surface model. The advent of 3D imaging not requiring motion or scanning, and related processing algorithms is enabling rapid advances in this field. Grid-based 3D sensing can be used to acquire 3D images from multiple angles. Algorithms are now available to stitch multiple 3D images together into point clouds and 3D models. The aim of image restoration is the removal of noise from images. The simplest possible approach for noise removal is various types of filters such as low-pass filters or median filters. More sophisticated methods assume a model of how the local image structures look, to distinguish them from noise. By first analyzing the image data in terms of the local image structures, such as lines or edges, and then controlling the filtering based on local information from the analysis step. A better level of noise removal is usually obtained compared to the simpler approaches. An example in this field is in painting. The organization of a computer vision system is highly application dependent. Some systems are standalone applications that solve a specific measurement or detection problem, while others constitute a subsystem of a larger design which. For example, 
also contains subsystems for control of mechanical actuators, planning, information databases, man-machine interfaces, etc. The specific implementation of a computer vision system also depends on whether its functionality is pre-specified or if some part of it can be learned or modified during operation. Many functions are unique to the application. There are, however, typical functions that are found in many computer vision systems. Image understanding systems include three levels of abstraction as follows. Low level includes image primitives such as edges, texture elements, or regions. Intermediate level includes boundaries, surfaces and volumes, and high level includes objects, scenes, or events. Many of these requirements are entirely topics for further research. The representational requirements and the designing of use for these levels are representation of prototypical concepts, concept organization, spatial knowledge, temporal knowledge, scaling, and description by comparison and differentiation. While inference refers to the process of deriving new, not explicitly represented facts from currently known facts, control refers to the process that selects which of the many inference. Search and matching techniques should be applied at a particular stage of processing. Inference and control requirements for use are search and hypothesis activation, matching and hypothesis testing, generation and use of expectations, change and focus of attention, certainty and strength of belief, inference and goal satisfaction. New iPad includes LiDAR sensor. There are many kinds of computer vision systems. However, all of them contain these basic elements, a power source, at least one image acquisition device, a processor and control and communication cables or some kind of wireless interconnection mechanism. In addition, a practical vision system contains software, as well as a display in order to monitor the system. Vision systems for inner spaces, as most industrial ones, contain an illumination system and may be placed in a controlled environment. Furthermore, a completed system includes many accessories such as camera supports, cables and connectors. Most computer vision systems use visible light cameras passively viewing a scene at frame rates of at most 60 frames per second. A few computer vision systems use image acquisition hardware with active illumination or something other than visible light or both, such as structured light 3D scanners. Thermographic cameras, hyperspectral imagers, radar imaging, LIDAR scanners, magnetic resonance images, side scan sonar, synthetic aperture sonar, etc. Such hardware captures images that are then processed often using the same computer vision algorithms used to process visible light images. While traditional broadcast and consumer video systems operate at a rate of 30 frames per second, advances in digital signal processing and consumer graphics hardware has made high-speed image acquisition. Processing and display possible for real-time systems on the order of hundreds to thousands of frames per second. For applications in robotics, fast, real-time video systems are critically important and often can simplify the processing needed for certain algorithms. When combined with a high-speed projector, Fast image acquisition allows 3D measurement and feature tracking to be realized. Egocentric vision systems are composed of a wearable camera that automatically take pictures from a first-person perspective. As of 2016, vision processing units are emerging as a new class of processor to complement CPUs and graphics processing units in this role. Thanks for watching.